Right, good morning YouTube. <laughs> We've actually got some sunshine. Lovely blue skies, I'm quite amazed. Now, about two weeks ago I made a video saying that I was going to start welding that transit up and one of my subscri subscribers, which is, um, he's got his own channel which is Tinker Time. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description below so you can find his channel but I suggest you all go over there and have a look because he's got some interesting little videos on there. Um, but he got in contact with me and said that he'd got a MIG welder that he hadn't used for a few years, sat in the back of his garage and if I wanted it I, could, I was welcome to come fetch it. Now it was all the way down on the south coast which is um, it's probably a good three or four hour drive for me. So I got in contact with him and I said, well, if you don't mind posting it, um, I'll gladly pay the postage and we'll do it like that, which he agreed to. So um, cost about 10 pounds to get it posted. And uh, here it is. So I'm just gonna um, open it up and we'll see what we've got inside. It is wrapped rather well. Um, I think it's going to need some wire and some and some new tips I think I don't know but we'll find out when I get it open so um, this is the first thing I've ever been sent by well yeah yeah, it's the first thing one of my subscribers has got in contact and sent me. So I'm rather excited about that. Let's see if we can get inside here. There's plenty of packaging in here. Lovely. Oh, look at that. We've got a nice welding mask. Fantastic. Safety first. Let's see if I can cut the box open so you can see it. He did say that he had made a fan or um, fitted an extra fan because the fan that was on it wasn't all that good. So uh, we'll see what we look like in a minute. Fantastic. Here we go. Clark Pro MIG 90. See if we can get it out of this box. There we go. I'll chuck that out of the way. And there we go. Oh, that's the wrong way round. That's the fan that he's put in. Lovely jubbly. Got the pipe for the gas. And there it is. A Pro MIG 90. Lovely. Now, I should be able to get in this side somewhere. I'm expecting to see some uh, rusty wire. Oh, there's a gas bottle in here, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right, here's the earth clamp. Here's the 240 lead, which is here. We have a little bottle of gas. Fantastic. And a little regulator with some numbers on. Brilliant. So um, that's good. Fantastic. Now I've not, um, not actually done any welding for a while. So it'll be interesting to see how I get on with that. Obviously I'm going to have to go and buy some more wire. I think he said it needed some tips because he's been using uh, 0.8 mil wire and uh, I'm going to be needing 0.6 mil so uh, I shall be going and buying some more tips and a roll of wire basically but that's um, that's fantastic thank you very much Mr Tinker Time and um, I'm sure I shall get on rather well with this. Um, yeah, that's ideal that is, that looks all good to me. Now obviously this is a few years old, 
so it's not brand new but it's it's a MIG welder and it's not a gasless MIG welder which is even better so um, oh yeah we've got uh, got another shroud there look not sure if that's much good but fantastic so um, yeah right so hopefully I should be getting some wire um, not sure how much gas is in here I presume there's some in here I shall perhaps buy another one of these just to uh, just to be sure that I've got plenty of gas to begin with and uh, yeah fantastic so uh, that's about it for this video and hopefully I shall uh, be showing you some videos of me doing a bit of welding in time we'll see how we get on so thank you very much and now I'm going to go down to the ambulance or the transit as I should say and um, start doing a bit more work on it so I'll see you all in the next video